Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to be looking at six of my favorite lip shades or looks from this fall 2019 fashion season. Now three of these are going to be coming straight off the runways, colors and styles that we saw repeatedly on different catwalks, different designers. And the next three were just because that I personally picked out because one, they just scream fall to me or two, they go very well with the looks and the colors and clothing for the season. Now someone upstairs has decided this would be a great day to renovate, so if you hear some drilling in the background, I apologize in advance. Trend number one was glossy lips, and most of the shades that I saw on the runways were either clear or just really really soft neutral colors. The brightest or more vibrant that I saw was a soft pink. So if you have clear glosses, shimmery glosses, very easy casual shades that just give your lips some shine and texture but not a whole lot of color, then go right ahead. This is a look that works really well if you're going to do a smoky eye or strong graphic winged liner which was one of the themes for the season. Now one of my favorite glosses of all time is Laura Mercier's rose gold accent and what I love about this is it's clear enough soft enough that you can layer it on top of other lipsticks and it looks great it doesn't change their color but at the same time this has enough of a rose gold pearl that it dresses up your lips if it's just a casual day and you don't really want to apply something under it also the Laura Mercier glosses are extremely buttery on the lips. They are not sticky, they are not thick, they will not make your lips gum together, they do not gather in the corners of your mouth. They feel almost like liquid balm, so they are fantastic. They smell beautiful, they smell like dessert. This smells like creme brulee or something like that. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but really, really highly recommend this line and this particular color. Now the second trend on the runway was deep berries and burgundy, so dark, lush, grapey, reds, wines, plums. Now while these traditionally lean on the cooler tone of the color spectrum, if you have warm skin tone and you want to pull some of these off, you still can. You just, one, need to make sure that you add a little bit of a cool toned pinky or berry toned blush to your cheeks just to tie the color together. What you do not want is just that single point of a cool tone lip on your face. That kind of looks a little bit stark, it stands out and it may sometimes just look like it's not quite sitting right on your skin. So tiny blush, also wearing a jewel toned like deep forest green or blue or purple eyeliner can help to tie the whole look together as well. Now one of my favorite berry or burgundy shades is by Estee Lauder. This is Pure Color Love Lipstick in 230 Juiced Up. On the runway, we saw a mix of creams and mattes, but I find matte plum shades to be a little bit more color true in general. A lot of times when you use a slightly glossier or sheerer plum, it ends up looking like a reddish pink on the lips after applied. Obviously, I applied this full on. I love that really strong, really intense lip. But do also remember that if this is a little bit intimidating for you, but you love the color tone, ombre lips, K-beauty style faded lips, gradient lips were a huge trend as well on the catwalk. So you can just apply a little bit in the center of your mouth, press your lips together, and then use a finger to just slowly spread the color out so it fades outwards and you get this sort of softer, kind of a blooming effect rather than this full-on deep rich lip. Now with regards to the colors of the fabrics and tones on the runway, it was a little bit all over the place for fall winter 2019. I saw yellows, golds, whites, creme de peche, pastels, denim, it really was just all over the place. But one of the commonalities across the board for a lot of the runways was when in doubt, slap of red on it. Rich, bright, vibrant scarlets were all over the catwalks and the only commonality seemed to be that one, the texture was kind of creamy and two, the undertones went from neutral to slightly warm. Uh, we didn't see too many of the cooler tone reds this season. It was very much more of a warm, almost red-orange sometimes and then sometimes true red shade. Pretty much every single brand all the way from drugstore to high-end has a rich vibrant scarlet so I'm just going to be featuring one of my OG favorites today and this is YSL's Rouge Bleu Couture number no. 01. This is the most beautiful, slightly warm scarlet and I love this shade. 
Now red obviously is a very high maintenance colour, it's easy to smudge, it's easy to make mistakes so if you are not confident, you can always go back in with a red pencil just to tidy up the edges and make sure that the red doesn't smear. If you want to stay true to the runway, then just keep it casual, you know, you can always just smudge out the edges a little bit with a finger so it's softer as it goes out and more intense in the middle. Now let's move on to some of my personal picks and recommendations. Obviously these are not going to be overlaps with any of the runway trends. They are just very outstanding colours that I feel are one, either easy to wear or two, really really stand out for the fall fashion season and go with a lot of the rich vibrant coloured clothing that is coming out now. And my first pick is a colour that has not stopped trending for the past few years, even though the fashionistas are telling us please just move on already. And that is a burnt orangey squash colour. Fall is a perfect season for all these rusty, rich, orangey, brown, coppery tones. And here are a few of my favourites. One thing I want to point out is all three of these shades that I picked which fall into the squash category come from the drugstore. And it seems like the drugstore is making amazing burnt orange shades for some reason. One of my absolute favourites from this season is a Clio Matte Velvet Lip Cream. And this is the shade 06 Butternut very fitting name. Now this is not quite as orange as some of the other oranges that I'm going to show in a few minutes but it's got a slight undertone of that in it as well. The reason this is my pick of the season is because it covers two things at once. One, it has that beautiful wicky orangey brown tone. Two, the formula is designed to sheer on and go on ombre style, like a powdered lip look. It's not meant to be applied opaque. If you try to build this up and make it look like a regular liquid lipstick, you will be very, very disappointed. It is not meant to be worn that way. This is meant to be worn in the classic K-beauty style. Now this is so soft and neutral that it's almost not even an orange tone anymore so I'm gonna swatch this on my hand alongside two other colour options so you can have a look. I Achieve 112 by L'Oreal. This is one of their Rouge signature. It's a matte liquid lipstick. It's very weightless and this is a beautiful squash colour. So you can see this beside the Clio and it's instantly more orange. If you have a little bit more of a tan or you want a colour that is a little bit more sultry, a little bit more brick brown, even though it still has a bit of that orange tone in there, then another L'Oreal lipstick. This is one of the Colourish Mattes in 302 Rock on Fire. And this is one of my favourite, favourite bricky orange tones. Now this next colour goes all the way to the other end of the colour spectrum. It's cool as cool can be. It is not for the faint of heart and that is Max Heroin. Now when you're working with a colour that's this extreme, you pretty much have to throw out all your colour theories and stop worrying about what undertone your skin colour is and whether this is going to match. No one has this skin undertone, so just relax, let it pop off against your skin. This is going to stand out regardless of whether you have cool or warm undertones. I have neutral undertones and this still sticks out like a sore thumb. In a good way, I hope. I sometimes feel when you want to be adventurous, go all the way. You know, don't do a soft pinky lavender, a beige lavender, taupe lavender. Oftentimes, the halfway there colours are a lot more unflattering on the skin tone than something that's this extreme. Also, also, I always say this, but I think with strong colours, 80% of it is your attitude and whether you feel comfortable in your own skin. Walking out the door with that, almost as if you were just wearing an MLBB, my lips but better lipstick shade. Oh, my lips are so stained right now, but it's not going to matter for this last shade that I'm featuring because it's straight up black. Say hi to Gucci Beauty 700 Crystal Black. Now my reason for picking this out is because this is a softer texture than most of the blacks that we see around most of the time. To get an opaque black, we usually go for a very matte or liquid texture because these give the most even pigmentation, they don't come off, they don't make a mess. Black in a satin or cream texture has a tendency to be extremely high maintenance, more high maintenance than red because once it gets in your teeth, if it smears around the edges, it is instantly visible. So you have been warned, you can make your life a little bit easier by using a black eyeliner around the edge of your lips just to keep the borders a little bit cleaner. I'm not going to do that today because I kind of like the softer look without a lip liner around the edges. 
When you want ultimate intensity and color payoff, basically you want to make sure people can see what color you are wearing all the way at the back of the stadium. Go with a very, very matte texture because there is no light interference. When light bounces off a creamy lipstick, you get that sheen on the surface and the eye does not register the color in those areas. But in this case, I feel it works in this lipstick's favor because it can look really severe and really goth when you're wearing a black lipstick lipstick in a matte texture, whereas in a satin, it actually looks fine. Now this is definitely not first date lipstick and if you're going to wear this out, you better be prepared for frequent checking in the mirror or a friend who's going to tell you when you smear or get it on your teeth. Now most of us are not used to seeing black on the lips, but if you think about it, black suits everyone. There is no one that cannot pull off black. So get over yourself, get over the insecurities, at least try it out and see how you like it. So that is it, six of my favorite lip colors for fall 2019. If you have a current favorite, please let me know what it is, whether it's a new shade you've just discovered or an old staple that you go back to every year at this time, share it with me. As always, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh, one last thing before I let you guys go, glitter. Glitter was huge on the runways as well. A lot of times it was red glitter pressed over red lipstick, but pinks and purples were also big. Just go with whatever color you like, apply your lipstick normally, and then use a clean finger or a synthetic brush to just pat a layer of matching glitter over your lipstick. Mm -hmm.